tell me you can't do that. You guys have an opportunity to change a life this year. Marion County, Highland, Canton, where else do we have? Quincy, what a mission field we've got. I can tell you right now, those are four schools that I tried to get into when I was too an anti-bullying and they wouldn't let me in. I was refused access in those schools. I had a daughter that went to Quincy. Guys, you have the power to change your life. If you don't think so, look at him. It's all because somebody read the Bible to him. Let him know that somebody was used by God greatly as a stutterer, and that was Moses, that he could relate to. My first question is, do you know Jesus? That's a decision that you have to make. I pray that you make that decision and you accept him into your life and you let him be the Lord and the Savior. I walk around all the time and people give these testimonies and they talk about things like I talk about. I survived drugs and I survived alcoholism and I survived this. And yeah, those are great testimonies and we need those type of testimonies. But understand one thing. The greatest testimony I think a young person can ever give when they grow up is I gave my life to Jesus Christ when I was age five and I never walked away. I never walked away from you, Lord. I did the test. I walked the walk. My life is all about you guys. It's all about getting people on fire and winning souls. Seeing change broken. I hope that everybody has to encounter the things that I encountered because there's a lot of stories that I can tell you during that 19 years that I shouldn't be here. Stories that I can tell you about how I hurt people. I injured people severely. Physically, mentally, emotionally. I still pray that one day my children will want to be with the dead. I have faith and I believe. But I hurt them. I hurt them bad. My son, oldest son, let me be his friend on Facebook. Until one day he said, you know what? I'm not the man that I am because of you. You gave me life and that was it. I let you be my friend on Facebook for a while, but I don't want that anymore. Don't ever talk to me again. And he took me off as his friend. And I don't even have that contact with him. I missed his wedding. I missed the birth of my first grandchild. I've hurt people. And I live with that daily. I will strive to do everything I can to win souls. I will take back what I let Satan take away from me. And trust me when I say, he will pay me back a hundredfold because the Lord says so. So, my challenge to you, as Dave gave us this morning, and I know some of you didn't get to hear, his challenge for us, my challenge for you, do you want to be on fire for Christ? Do you want to give your life totally 100% of 
unconditionally to Jesus. Do you want to win lives? Because if you do, you're going to have to do the first bold step because it's going to be hard to do that in school. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to talk about Christ when everybody else is making fun of you because they want you to do this. I do it every day at work. I know what it's like to get treated differently and unfairly because I stand for Christ. There's some people at my work that don't like it. There's going to be people at school that won't like it. It will be a test. If you do, you're going to have to make the bold step. You're going to have to stand up. You're going to have to say yes. Come on up. Let's pray. Let's do something for our schools this year. Will it be you? It's your choice. I won't judge you either way. I'll still love you. I'll still love you. Will you or not? My question is, will you? It's up to you now. If you do, come on up. We'll pray. If you don't, it's okay. I won't give up on you. I'll still be praying for you. Because eventually you will. The word never returns void. I know that. Ron knows that. These guys know that. The word of God never returns void. And I've already given it to you. This church has given it to you. So if you do, come on up. If not, we'll eat. Amen? Amen. I'm just going to ask the adults, if you will, let's come up. Let's pray for these young people.